Yes. Happy New Year. We are going to Grimsby versus Stockport today. 84 out of 92. On New Year's Day, there's nowhere better to be than Grimsby. It takes two hours, 25 minutes to get to Grimsby. But one, one thing I realized, we didn't get our fish and chips in Fleetwood. And today is the day we get fish and chips in Grimsby. <laughs> We've made it to Grimsby. Just to show you the beautiful sights of this place, this is Grimsby Centre. Going to all of these grounds kind of shows you the good sides and the bad sides. And so far, I've really seen a good side of Grimsby so far. I'm with my good mate Troy again. Um, hey, what's your first impressions? Shit hell. I feel like I'm going to get stabbed by heroin any minute now. We don't want to speak negatively, but this is just first impressions, and this must be one of the worst places I've ever visited. Look at this. Does this, this car's just dead? If anyone wants any sun blinds around here, this is the place to go. It doesn't look very open though. I only show you the best bits of this place, don't I? Look at the pigeons and the smashed windows. So what I've noticed being in Grimsby already is there's a lot of pubs around here. I guess it's cheap beers, but I am not having a pint today after last night, New Year's Eve. It was a heavy night and I don't even know how I've ended up in Grimsby. This is such a ghost town. It's not even funny right now. Me and Troy are the only ones around here right now. Nothing's going on, nothing's open. I know it's New Year's Day, but the football's on. And I've seen about two people here. As you do, just a little trolley. Anybody want to watch the game? A bit smashed up. Finally, we see something we need, and that is the stadium. Look at that. This is absolutely run down. I've been speaking negatively about Grimsby, but one thing I've got to get in credit for is their fan base. I know for a fact their home support's good because I see loads of videos of it. I've seen Smith come here and there's really good fans. Their away support is absolutely fantastic. The stadium, it has a lot of character from what I've seen so far. A bit run down this place, but nevertheless, their fan base are so loyal, so class. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see them today. Where are you when, taking me, Troy? When you get up there, the yep. most beautiful view you've ever seen in your life. I really hope you're right, mate, because what I've seen so far has not impressed me. I'll tell you what, I'm trusting him. Ah! Oh, stadium here, fair enough. Train track here. And you got the lovely view of the sea. I see why you're taking me here now, Troy. What a beautiful place this is. I told you I'm taking to the fish and chips. Right, so I told you we're coming all the way to Grimsby for the fish and chips. I've ended up with a battered sausage. We're outside Brundle Park now. This is the stadium. It's very old school, very decent in my eyes. It's got a lot of character about it. We went until we're inside, but I'll tell you what, the battered sausage, I've already taken a little bite and it's bloody decent. But another one. Oh, that is proper. I met so many people already from Grimsby and Stockport. Nice people. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get in there now. Here we go then, we are back. 2-1 Stockport, 1,000 travelling fans. Going to be rocking in there today, I think. It looks like this prison. 2-1 County, Miles Hippolyte's going to score. You, you're going to give me a goal score already. Fans. Unreal. That's the 
And that is half time. It's nil nil. It hasn't been great. Not much is going on, but nevertheless, second half, hopefully we get a goal because the scene here will be incredible. Here we go then, second half, the battle again. Players are back out. This is why I love taking off a note who seems good, seems bad. Stockport, right at the top. These Stockport fans are insane and I can't wait to be back amongst them. And respect to the drummer, this guy's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Next time mate, you're the GOAT. You're the GOAT though mate, you're the GOAT. As far as grounds goes, this has been quite a nice ground in all fairness. It's got a lot of character and atmosphere wise, it can generate a lot from the away end, home end you can hear them. But with the drumming and everything in this end, that's why you couldn't really hear the Grimsby fans. If it wasn't for the drum or any atmosphere in the away end. I think we had a good good 1 0 to Grimsby, and I've got to be honest, it's pretty deservedly so. I thought defensively Grimsby were better. And overall, the Stockport fans, I must admit, one of the best in the EFL, in League Two, probably the best. I know I've said good things about Bradford, I've said good things about Hartlepool, but Stockport for me have got to be the best. You saw that when just walking onto the pitch. We got a little lighter coming up, we got a pyro, we got the flag coming up. For bloody Grimsby away. But Grimsby, got to give you guys credit. As much as I've slagged off the town and place, I think you guys can kind of agree with me. Let's be honest here. I've heard 
heard that Grimsby away fans are very class. So I've got to do that in the future. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to my channel. 84 out of 92 complete. We've got eight more to go. Where should I go next? Comment it down below. See you later.